how are you doing today? I'm good. Really good, yeah. Good. Um, and you've not long been off stage, so tell us all about the set. Uh, well, today we, um, uh, well, first of all, it was a really, good, a really pleasure to play here tonight and a really good audience and, uh, and uh, we enjoyed ourselves on stage. So, uh, but tonight it was also a, a bit special of a show because we uh, had our, uh, have our friend uh, uh, Vegar, uh, Vafar's brother, with us on stage today and uh, we played one Vindir song, Spirit Lord, and uh, so that was kind of cool. And also in the end, uh, Mr. Eza, ex bride uh, member, joined us on uh, Pitch Black uh, at the end of the set. Though. So well, it was uh, really cool, cool to play it tonight. Yeah, yeah. Just the, the audience was great. We had some technical, technical problems, problems at the couple of fuses so, so. with the guitars and stuff, yeah. but it sorted out from like the second, third song, and then from then on, it was uh, really good. So. And of course, you guys have just been touring so much lately. <laughs> and tomorrow, you've got your last supper show in London, um, which kind of marks the end of the whole V tour. Are you quite sad that actually it's all finishing? Oh, uh, well, no. <laughs> no not, really. not really sad, though, I guess. But it's like a cycle, you know, when you, uh, you uh, release an album and you do a lot of, <laughs> of shows, and so it has to end sometimes. So it's, uh, it's a good thing to end it in, uh, in London. Uh, it's. Uh, Playing at the underworld is always good. I mean, you know, obviously you have toured a lot this year. Do you find it quite hard being away from friends and family for such large amounts of time? Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. But still, like, uh, we managed to do this for seven, eight years now. Mm. Um, intensive touring, and yeah, but we got patient wives and uh, <laughs> family. <laughs> yeah, so and. Uh, employees I guess uh, yes, so uh, I know uh, it's hard to be away but when we're away we're like focusing 100% on the band so, and nowadays we got all these technologies I like, to talk to them with the iPhones and stuff so uh, we get to see them every day at least so yeah it's like uh, when you're uh, on tour yeah you kind of oh it's gonna be really good to come home to the family and the kids and stuff like that but when you're home you okay uh, I think we've been home <laughs> Quite a long time now. I really want to go out on and play again. So it's like, yeah. And you guys, you brought out V in February last year, um, but you've already finished work on a new album as well. How different is that to V? Tell us all about it and everything that you're actually allowed to <laughs> tell yeah, us about. Uh, I think the, I think the rock and roll parts is even more rock and roll, uh, and maybe the extreme parts is more extreme. I don't know. So uh, lots of 70 influence, influence as well, like as always. As um, always, yeah. I think it's more. I think the song is like the variation, and, and I think I got a really good feeling for this album. Uh, uh, some parts turn out even better than mm. expected. Uh, it's so. always uh, exciting when you're working on stuff and you're doing pre-recordings and rehearsals, and uh, when you start the real recording and, and the mixing process is beginning and the all the elements are coming into place then you really get the oh suddenly things turned out quite different yeah, than you expected yeah, yeah. and it's, that's really cool but like uh, you said uh, I have a really good feeling about this album and yeah. but it's always difficult to you know to put a label on your on the stuff uh, <laughs> that you worked on yeah. for so long it's so. always like not, yeah. not being afraid to bring different elements in and uh, mixing all kinds of styles so uh, and I guess this is no exception uh, yeah. And you've also said that the artwork for this album is totally different, but that's all we know so far. Yes. What clues can you give us? It's totally uh, different. It's, <laughs> it's totally different. Yeah, we got we got this pattern like we follow for the last two or three, four albums. Yeah. Uh, but this is it's, it's different. Yeah. And we, but we're really really satisfied. I think it's mm. better than ever. Yeah, yeah it's r really cool. And uh, well, I guess you just have to wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And do you reckon that old fans of the band and fans that have been fans since the beginning, do you think they're going to love this album just as much? Yeah, no, 100% yeah, it's, sure. Uh, it's, still, it's, it's still bright. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And do you have a vague release date in mind? I think it's actually not vague. I think it's 20, 22nd of February, uh, if not being mistaken. Yeah, I think so. Uh, at least like late February. Late February, uh, in the end of February. So. Yeah. And you have you've been touring just all over Europe. I mean, do you have a country that you really, really look forward to more than anything? Uh, 
want us to say UK now. <laughs> yeah, um, obviously, yeah, the, obviously UK. the UK. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but we're planning, you know, we're going to do some uh, shows back in Norway uh, early uh, in the winter. And uh, we're working on a tour in, uh, in April. So, uh, yeah, so, but, you know, the dates aren't set or anything yet, but uh, hopefully we'll uh, come back to the UK and, and do more touring here. So. We will. And what do you guys think that the most important aspect of any live performance is? What do you really kind of aim for every time you go out on stage? Well, uh, like it's, it's not, not difficult to like motivate 100% for the show. Uh, I guess if it's a club show for 200 or uh, the Wacken open air for 25,000, it doesn't make any difference. Although the we like to like uh, give 100% and. Uh, we have had the, like, when we go off stage, uh, like two, three, four years ago, it was like, oh, I played wrong on this song, oh, I did this mistake, but that was like four or five years ago. Now we just like, as long as the audience is there and everything yeah. is perfect, then you can live with some flaws. And yeah, the energy, course energy the, is there 100%. The, the technical aspect the energy, of it is yeah. there, but it's, uh, it's really important, you know, to have fun on stage and enjoy what you're doing. and. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's uh, really cool to see, you know, when the audience give you feedback and you give something back to the audience. So the, the connection there is really important, I think. Brilliant. And when it comes to fans, have you ever had a fan do something really quite creepy? Excuse me? Creepy. <laughs> a creepy fan? Creepy fan. Well, uh, we, maybe some in the winter days, I guess, is <laughs> some creepy. <laughs> Not mentioning names, but no, uh, nothing in particular comes to mind now. No, no. no but creepy. we have some uh, uh, fans have done some special things for us there. I remember once in the state, you know, where um, we got this. Uh, this is this guy who made some oh. great artwork and uh, he made like a small. Uh, uh, what's it called? Puppy or not? No, puppy. he made this doll. action figure. The actually. action figure uh, of uh, yeah. Valfar, you know, with the sword and everything, and. It, and so we got one of those, and that was kind of special. Yeah, yeah he was, that was he really cool. Made drawings. He mm. tattooed his girlfriend all over with the and, and <laughs> the band names. Uh, so the, they're pretty weird guys out there. Uh, <laughs> people traveling from like Israel to Oslo to see the show. Uh, so um, by car, uh, driving all the way from Tel Aviv. I don't know. <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> I guess we wouldn't go the opposite direction. I think going down there for a show. No wouldn't happen but still people are really dedicated I think but no crazy stuff uh, no. we actually in, in the US uh, Comfar guys they got uh, a dead what did I a squirrel yeah, was a, yeah, uh, I think, yeah she came in the bus like I have a pres <laughs> present for the Comfar guys and it was a thing with a dead squirrel or something. Yeah. they put it in the bus like thank you very much I really appreciate this so I guess they uh, get the uh, creepy stuff <laughs> And, you know, when it comes to your fans, do you really see, like, a loyal fan base increasing in every city that you play every time you play back there? If that uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, and uh, also the, the American audience are uh, they're very open-minded and very enthusiastic. So it's really cool to play there and they give you a lot of feedback uh, on, on the shows and stuff. So, so that's really cool. You see the same in yeah. Europe as well, like yeah. for every tour uh, the, mm. the fan base is increasing uh, and we come back to the, the cities we love to play like uh, Paris, London, uh, Zurich, uh, Zagreb and, and the, the mass is like increasing and uh, everything like merch sales is going up and the crowd is getting more into it. So. And so what countries would you really really like to play that you've not quite made it to yet? Oh. Uh, uh, I would love Asia. to go. I think, yeah, I think I think Australia actually, but a, a bit yeah, too far Australia. and a bit too few shows like for a, such a long trip. Uh, South, I think um, South, South America. America as well. Uh, mm. If we bring some bodyguards and some uh, management, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's quite I've heard a lot of stories from from friends and bands going down there, like crazy stuff. So, mm. but I guess South America and uh, Asia, Asia. Uh, Australia, Japan would have been cool. Yeah. No, it seems to be, with the music scene in Japan just seems to be just incredible mm. at the moment. Yeah. yeah, you hear a lot of stories, you know, mm. band going over there and uh, the crowds are like insane, yeah. a lot of people, so yeah. that would be a good thing to do. And the next kind of six to twelve months, what can we expect from you guys? Obviously you've got the new album coming out early next year, will there be a lot of touring, a lot of festivals? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well like 
until the festival season there will be uh, stuff going on in Norway we got a probably Euro a European tour and uh, then the festival yeah season starts so uh, we've got some major festivals booked already uh, no uh, no I don't think the, <laughs> I think we're not allowed to <laughs> confirm anything uh, but still um, Do any and of them fall in the UK we will probably uh, include UK in the April tour uh, uh, at least one show two maybe three I don't know uh, hope to do as many as possible but still and, and then in the autumn as well uh, hoping for the US uh, I don't know the, the whole thing but the US is the, the, the visa stuff and the, and the long travel yeah. for us and uh, with the family we'd like like to spend the maybe 14 15 16 days on the tour on the road and then come back if you go to US you have to like bring like to be there maybe three, three weeks, weeks at least, so. and and then the distance is so big. So uh, I don't know. It's a log logistic problem, I think, <laughs> for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah still. Well, lots to look forward to then from you at least, which is a really, really good thing. Um, really, really looking forward to hearing the new album. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. So thank it's you. been an utter pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much, guys. That was awesome.